Do you find it confusing to visualize decimals? Then this video is right for you. So, without much further ado, let's begin. Hi, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Roel Carpio, a math teacher and a coach, and I do math tutorial in my YouTube channel. If you have been to my channel before, welcome back. And if it is your first time to visit my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new video. And if you think that the content of my video is worth sharing with others, kindly share it with them. And don't forget also to leave a comment on the comment section down below. Gracias. So in this video, I'm going to present to you how to visualize decimals. So let us begin by visualizing decimals through the use of our number line. So in our number line, we can see that we have 0 and 1. So if we have a whole number 0 and 1, there are still numbers that can be found in between 0 and 1. And one of these numbers is 0.1. Now, where can we find the 0.5? The 0.5 can be found exactly between 0 and 1. So, in other words, this line represents 0.5. Now, what does exactly 0.5 mean? So, if we are going to represent the 0.5 using our illustrations, it's actually 5 out of 10 or 5 parts are shaded out of 10 equal parts or what we call the 5 tenths. Or, in lowest term, we have 1 half. Now, if this is 0.5, so this is 0.5. 4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and this is 0 0.1. Now, between 0 and 0 0.1, there are still numbers that can be found. And one of these numbers is 0 0.05. And where can we find that 0 0.05? It is found exactly between 0 and 0 0.1. So, in other words, this line represents the 0 0.05 So what does exactly 0.05 mean? The 0.05 means that we have 5 parts are shaded out of 100 equal parts or that is equivalent to 5 over 1 so, 0 0.05 is equivalent to 500 or in lowest term, that is 1 over 20. So, 0 0.05 and 0.5 are just two of the examples of decimal numbers. Now, let us have another example. How do we represent 2.36? First is for us to identify where is 2.36 lie in our number line. So we know that 2.36 lies between 2 and 3. So since the decimal number that lies between 2 and 3 is 2.5, so the 2.36 is somewhere closer to 2. So the 2.36 can be found somewhere in this area. Now how do we represent that using our illustrations? Since our whole number is 2, so we can represent that using two cubes. So these two cubes represent the whole number 2. And after that, we can represent the 3. The 3 means that 3 out of 10 or what we have as 3 tenths. While the 6 represents 6 out of 100 equal parts. So we have 6 over 100. So, in other words, that when we represent that 2.36, we can represent it with 2 units plus 3 out of 10 plus 6 over 100. Now, let us have another example. How do we represent 4.79? First is for us to identify where is 4.79 can be found in our number line. We know that 4.79 can be found in between 4 and 5. So, exactly in between 4 and 5 is 4. 
5. So, meaning to say that 4.79 is somewhat closer to 5 than to 4. So, more or less, the 4.79 can be found in this area. We have to start representing the whole number 4 by using 4 cubes. So, we have 4 cubes. Plus, the digit 7 here tells us that 7 parts are shaded out of 10 equal parts to give us 7 over 10. Plus, the digit 9 tells us that 9 parts are shaded out of 100 equal parts to give us 9 out of 100. So, 4.79 is equivalent to 4 plus 7 tenths plus 9 hundredths. So, there you have it, how to visualize decimal numbers. So, I hope that you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. See you again in my next video. Thank you.